We bought this F-350 to haul our fifth wheel trailer. Thinking it was gonna be the bomb. It's got a stiff suspension. I know they ride rough, but this Ford rides so nice. It's no wonder that it does have squat when you put a load on. I didn't buy it for sledding. As all you guys know, dualies are not great on the ice and snow, especially climbing up a mountain road. But I'm using it anyways this year. Uh, we put my deck on. I got two sleds on, hooked my trailer on, and I got a ton of squat. And I can't stand the squat. So we hooked up with Airlift. They sent us this airbag system to put in this truck. It is the Load Lifter 7500XL. My first dually I bought because I thought it was kind of cool. A 95 Chevy dually. Uh, and that day extended cab. Did they have crew cabs? I don't know. Extended cab. Awesome. Check out the pic with my climber on my first climber and my first dually. The pic is awesome. Oh, Wicked looking truck. It's Mount Magic Climber. My first one I bought. It was a uh, Indy 500 chassis with a Do 670 in it. And at the time, a 136 two inch track, because that's all you could get. It was a 136. Had 136 horsepower, maybe 140. Uh, of course, it was massaged a little bit. Uh, timing turned up. Running race gas, shaved head, blah, blah, all that stuff. Players' clutches. It was, it was 300 and, 340 pounds. It was light, super light, but super small, right? 136. Awesome sled. Me and my bro, the cameraman, went on a trip <laughs> with that dually. Two sleds, had a blast. Where'd we go? We went everywhere in BC, eh? Yeah, and then we broke down. I broke down. No, we got robbed. Somebody pricking Kelowna bust into my truck and stole all our gear. I've had three A airlift systems actually in my trucks. Starting 2012, 2016, and this 2020 will be the third one. What kind of problems have you had? Mostly ice. Ice build up, but they've sent out a, there is a uh, kind of like a water filter system you can get for the controller. They sent me one, but I didn't know what it was. It looked, it looked like something sexual, so I kind of threw it in the garbage. I wasn't quite sure what it was, and there was no instructions with it. So I actually sent this airlift uh, controller in for warranty, which they warrantied, no problem, but then they sent this other thing with it. I didn't even know what it was, and I couldn't figure out what it was, which I should have, but... And uh, it was an air filter system, which I didn't figure out till later. So anyways, I still got the old system. This is their second or third remote system. They do now have one that is on your phone. You control it with your phone, which is kind of cool, I guess, if you have a phone with you. But if you don't, this one's always in the truck. I love the, just the remote. Um, it still controls it the same way. I got a small pump from before. Yeah, it's a little rusty, but it works good. I just hooked it up. It still works. So we're gonna hook that back in. We're just gonna build the airbags uh, with the brackets. We're gonna take the tire off, the rear tire, the spare tire off underneath so you can get around a little better so you're not hitting your head, uh, which I experienced on the other ones. And then we will get to installing it. So let's give her. So just tell me about... Um... Oh, look, rum. You guys gotta remember, I'm doing this on the floor and not with a jack or a lift. It does make it more difficult, I'm not gonna lie to you, but it can be done. So for the average, ordinary Joe like me, DIY guy, this ain't so bad. It's, it's not hard, it's just time consuming. You can do it, I know you can. I got faith in you.
So I got the airlift system put in my truck. As you can see, there is no squat. It took us about three hours to do it all. And it wasn't that bad if we were concentrating and my brother wasn't pouring me shots. We probably could have did it a little quicker, but it, it was a pretty easy system to put together. The instructions are very, very thorough. So you'll notice that without air in the airbags, the truck does ride a little bit rougher because of it's a one ton. With a load on, it rides better because it's a one ton, but you have squat. So I put about 50 pounds in the, in the airbags with the sleds on the deck, all my gear in the back of the truck and two sleds in the trailer. So it's quite heavy, uh, not by, by no means at max for that truck, but now I have very little squat and my headlights are working good too at night. I'm not getting flashed anymore. Very good system. Bow, chicka, bow, bow.